Yeah, it's like uh, supposed to rain today. In case anybody was wondering. <sighs> yep, that's where I'm staying. That big light. Yeah. Wish me luck. Should hear thunder any time now. All right, doing a solo mission here. Nicholas is hanging out in a colder place. So I decided to come here, southeastern Arizona, but it rained today. And again, if you can't make a fire without, you know, having to have dry wood, you're not, you're not a friend of mine, man, you know? So if you say anything other than in situ and you can't make a fire with wet wood, I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't think we can hurt together. Peanut butter and jelly, got the PBJs, got the uh, soon veggie soup, waiting for some more water to boil. But yeah, I mean, living like a king right now, living like a king. It's rained 40 days and 40 nights. I am in habitat for Arizona mountain king snakes. There should be Arizona mountain king snakes just, you know, just sunning themselves just all over this. Cool, found this little juvenile alligator lizard crawling through the grass. Thought it was a will or die, little one at first, but I will take what I can find this morning. So we'll let this little dude get back to crawling. Check this out, man. Tell me that doesn't look like a will or die. I mean, it does to me. This is an awesome sight to find, not this rock, this rock sitting right at the base of this tree. You can see he's virtually the same color as the tree. So they sit at the base of these trees hoping a lizard comes on down like this. And then they're ambush hunters and they just, boom, get that guy. I'm not kidding you when I tell you that the skies were clear probably two hours ago in terms of there was a few clouds but what the frick man no flipping way oh no that's metal i you know i was just talking to lou boyer and we were going back and forth and he goes hey man thinking of coming to arizona do you think i could find a coral snake and i'm like i don't know dude i don't you know i swear i talked to lou five minutes ago Lou, I just found this, dude. <laughs> I am not lying, man. Wild. What a wild deal. They, they are definitely here, Lou. So again, Lou and I were just talking back and forth. Hey, Lou. Hey, Rob. And that's just crazy. And then I had a couple just stop. They were saying, I wonder if we could find a coral. He'd never found one, so they stopped, and that was cool. So meant to be, I guess. I knew it was you. I was hoping it was you. That is Marissa. One heck of a photographer and herper. I've known Marissa for 12 years now, and we've been on a few herp trips together and usually end up finding something cool. Th that is if we're not being stopped by the cops for some reason that's not my fault, probably hers. Dude, that is... So bright. That is. What? Uh -oh. I saw a thing on this today. I think it was, I can't remember the YouTube channel, but the professor, they interviewed a professor. On why it bioluminesces like yeah, that? Yeah, and so this guy had a bunch of theories, but one of the things is that they're, ex so they can see how much they're exposed. The idea is when UV light hits a scorpion's body, it fluoresces, and the tail detects this emitted green light, alerting the scorpion that it is exposed, so it searches for cover. Oh, wow. Damn. Look at you. We didn't know. That's really cool. You ever seen a scorpion lit up with a black light? Uh-uh. Okay, turn your headlight off. Oh. Isn't that crazy? Red. Isn't that insane? That's so cool. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, you know here too the yellow? Spectacular. God, the yellow on those are amazing. Am I right? Oh yeah. I love, I haven't seen a Melosis in years. So you could have a YouTube channel, man. <laughs> That's a pretty one, man. <gasps> oh, isn't she beautiful? That is a pretty one. That's a big one, too. That's a big one. Healthy looking, huh? Yeah. 
I can't imagine it being much smaller than this. That's insane. Oh, cutie. That is a really, really pretty snake. I know. Just crawling through camp like that. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, that really looks like so an ultimate. Unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, we see them a lot up near Tucson, but nothing like this. Dang. That is really cool. It's a beautiful animal. Yeah, when I come back, that's I'm going to come back as a liar snake. <laughs> Not an elephant or whatever, the, or a cow in India. <laughs> All right, so here's the setup. Jordan won a hook and a hat from me from Livestream. Jordan from Livestream, and he said, hey, I'm coming to Arizona pretty soon, and that was like three months ago, and I said, well, right on, dude. That's awesome. I live here. He's kind of bummed because he thought we were going to kind of hang out in Tucson for a few minutes so he could get the hook and the hat, but no, I'm sorry about that, Jordan. I, I want to deliver it to you because it's Logic Inc. That's what we do. Let's go. Come on, that was well played and you know it. I said, I said I've seen this in movies. They don't make it. Yeah. Oh, so, so you had no clue? Oh man. I'm like, damn, we're gonna have to like arrest these guys. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah man. Hey, I was gonna stay, but I um I'll cut this off. Good to see you guys. What's up? Look at that dirt road, man. You know what could be on that dirt road? What I think could be on that dirt road? You know what I think could be on that dirt road? I think a coral snake could be on there. So listen, man, here's the deal. Pro tip. Okay, you take yourself a red bungee cord, you take some electrical tape, black electrical tape, band that sucker up, right? So it looks like a kind of a coral snake, and then you take a rubber band and get it, you know, like this, so that when you undo it, it just kind of does one of these things. Then you lay it out for like another YouTube channel, like live streamed, and watch them jump out of the car and freak out. That's what you do. Stay tuned. Is there a snake or something? What's up? What do you got? Uh, we just saw it. Saw what? It was it was red and black. It was right in the middle of the road. Serious? Yeah. Yeah. Is it gone? Is it right there? Right there. Right over there. Holy crap! That. What is that? You know what that looks like? Son of a bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> what? How can you get punked twice? <laughs> oh, what a guy. What? <laughs> how could you get. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really get punked twice in Arizona? <laughs> and so I like just stay still. I don't say anything to Nicholas. And I go, man, are you hearing that? And he goes, are you walking around out there? And I go, no. <laughs> And he goes, I'm hearing footsteps. And again, we're right by a wash. It's hard to describe the wash that we're camping by. Hey, quick shout out to the Wildlife Brothers. They found the hidden badgers in these two videos. No wonder their channel's growing. They find all kinds of things in their own videos. So if you haven't checked out their channel, please go over and do so. You won't be disappointed. Still have a hidden badger in this video that no one has found yet. And of course, there's not just one, but two hidden in the current video. Hoo-hoo! <laughs>